Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter unarmed. Sir, madam. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? I'm off to meet Freddy. Thank you. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. There you are! <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, come with me! Your Majesty, may I present Miss uh, Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. The problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, that he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine... Begins. Look. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. Everything all right, my dear? 
Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Location of the vault, go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Exploiting, I warn you, my boy, but you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pace. London. by my mistake.
London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. You were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you gonna wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry is stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Aberline, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Aberline informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? Invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abeline implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abeline tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry. Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on.
That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. The Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want them him to bleed. Dreams that are boys and us, them that told us lies of their bravery. Them that preached our progress and put us in the poor house. Them done the horrid murder on bloody stages. Them that loudly corroded their humility. Lords and dames that in the chapels on a summer. All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up. Hold I still, goddammit! They lie flung in rats and make no sounds. Underground, underground. Only the mission matters! Understood! Those who fought for something better. Those who fought by how they live. Loved ones taken long before this world. Galena, we need an exit. Kill the boss. Our targets are righteous. We need to go! Now! Understood. The shroud! Forget the bloody shroud! Stay with me, Bex. Please! We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not. When the shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but... I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. My newly honored friends. Your Majesty. We understand that with Crawford Staric gone, a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership. An upstart faction seeks to enter London and seize power. Do you feel your life is in danger, ma'am? No. Rather, I fear that the people of this grand city may suffer. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. You can depend on us. We will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. The work begins immediately.
approach. You have honored us with your loyalty and courage. Long may we strengthen the Empire together. Your Majesty, we will always work to ensure the safety of the people. But with the greatest respect, our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the Empire. Perhaps, ma'am, you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires. <laughs> I understand and respect your position. Bound as you are by your creed, you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye. And may God bless the noble fries. Suppose you'll be offered any more cake. This is my God. This is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London, in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? I suppose they've got another suit back there, do you? That one looks a bit tight for me. And you would look a right tit in it. Evie. You've done a wonderful job of helping the children of this city. So what you're saying is, I'm a hero. We pitched in what we could to properly express our gratitude. Thank you, Clara. Good. You're both here. I have something to give you. That really isn't necessary. More gifts? You spoil me, Greeny. Templar numbers are dwindling, and I hate to admit it, but the rooks are thriving. Did you hear that, Evie? Thriving. Your time in London has been well spent. I am proud of you. Oh, Freddy! I hardly recognized you in your police togs. You certainly scrub up well. I thank you for your help in collecting these bounties. I am impressed with all you have accomplished. And uh, I wish you luck with your future endeavors. Building a picture gallery, are we, why not? Present for my good friend, Adam. Do you treat all your friends this way? Never mind that now. I wanted to thank you for all your help. You twins are nothing if not diligent. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Well, the wheels of London never stop. Always more work to be done. Champions of the street, champions in the ring. Is there anything you two can't do? Hmm? Are you quite sure you don't remember me? That night at the laboratory? No? Oh, well, never mind. I have a little something to commend your remarkable performances. That night in the laboratory, hmm? Definitely not what you think. For 20 years, after the Assassins defeated the Templars in London, the city enjoyed a certain peace until the Autumn of Terror. In 1888, London is plunged into shadow and fear.
by a series of gruesome and unsolvable murders. The brothels of Whitechapel seem warm and safe by comparison to its streets, where prostitutes are being mutilated and left on grotesque display for the world to ogle. Jacob Fry hunts the elusive killer to bring an end to the terror of Jack the Ripper. Get a move on, Mr. Finch. This is the story of a lifetime. Mr. Weaversbrook, I know you have more of the Ripper's letters. I told you to stay away from me. Stop publishing his letters. You've turned an unknown miscreant into a legend, and that's exactly what he wants. Jacob, thank God I found you. He's the Ripper. He's done it again. Jack, come and kill me! Go somewhere, Jacob. Jack, you're sick. can't tell a living soul because it would destroy you and the assassins. No, 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 no! Jack, we can fix you. Fix me? I am the solution. Miss Fry? Inspector Aberline. Why exactly have you had me escorted here? My men and I have been hunting the Ripper around the clock for months now, and we've nothing to show for it. At least nothing I can tell the public. What's the Ripper to do with me? My brother has had me summoned here from India. Can't this wait? As far as I know, you may be the last assassin in London. What do you mean? Where's Jacob? I wish I knew. 
Your brother is nowhere to be found, even as an elusive shadow is committing the most hideous crimes this city has ever seen. And you believe this is no coincidence? The killer is selective and dispassionate and has left not a single trace of his passage. I have seen such a talent for assassination and avoiding detection only once before, when I worked with the two of you. And that is why your brother summoned you before he disappeared. You think Jacob is dead? I dare not believe it. But if he is, you may be the only person who can stop the Ripper now. Follow me. Carly the Destroyer, I gave this to you on your last visit to India. There's a woman who can help. Unfortunately, she'll remind you of our childhood neighbor. If the Ripper Unfortunately? What is Jacob trying to say? We loved old Nelly. Could he be referring to an unfortunate woman? Shh, don't be afraid. Jacob's sister. We can't talk to you, please. He'll kill me. She'll see to it. Who? Lady Owens, Jacob said you must kill her to find him. Smile and be polite, or I'll tell the Ripper where you sleep, my beauties. Dame Fry, take Nelly and see to it that woman does not follow us. Lady Owens, whoa! <sighs> Nelly, I'm so sorry. She used me as a decoy, fled to Owens Manor. Hoping I'd cause your death, no doubt. She knew you'd come, Miss Fry. Lady Owens, the Ripper's eyes and ears in London. Kill her, and Jack <sighs> will be forced to show himself. Hey! I'll look in on you soon, Nelly, I promise. Lady Owens will be expecting me. And I would not want to disappoint her. 